Hello there, it's story time with Miss Priya. Let's see what today's story is about. Get your listening ears ready. Today's story is about the ant and the grasshopper. One day, there was a grasshopper who was busy singing to himself as he was resting on a tree on a hot summer day. Chirp, chirp, I love summer. Chirp, chirp, I love singing. While on the other side, the ant was sweating and working very hard preparing his food before the winter would come in. Just then, the grasshopper asked and called out to the ant. Hey ant, don't work too hard. The ant answered. Listen grasshopper, if you don't prepare for winter, you're going to starve. Now saying this, the ant left to work. The grasshopper said to himself, Hmm, there is plenty of time, so why should I worry? I'm going to go back to my singing now. Chirp, chirp, I love summer. Chirp, chirp, I love singing. In no time the summer went and the freezing winter came. The wind howled and howled and buckets of snow fell from the winter sky. The grasshopper shivered in the cold. He was very hungry. Can you see him here? He thought to himself, what if the ant is right? Then I will starve with no food. The grasshopper went to look for food. But instead of finding food, he got lost in the snow. And now he could barely move his legs. Ooh. Luckily, the grasshopper found the ant's house. He mustered up enough of energy to knock on the door. Please, ant, will you give me some food? Begged the ant. Or even some crumbs would do. The ant opened the door and said, Don't worry, grasshopper. I have plenty of food. Come on in. The grasshopper went inside. He sat next to the fire and ate until he couldn't eat anymore. This is so delicious, said the grasshopper. And I'm really sorry for making fun of you before. That was very wrong of me. The ant said, that's okay. You can help me next time. It was then that the grasshopper finally understood why the ant had worked so hard in the summer. And he was very thankful that he had such an understanding and good friend. The end. I hope you liked the story. So until next story time, bye and take care. See ya.